Welcome back to Absolute Comics. We're going to do a WandaVision spoiler cast, so remember to check out our sponsor, G Field, gfield.com. Use the code COMICS at checkout. Check out Comic Pop's uh, Patreon. Check out Comic Story's Patreon. And don't forget to go pick up issue 12 of Bloodshot. I wrote it. I'd like some support. Please help me. We all love you. Okay. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> I'm just... I'm, you want me to be... Uh, tr- guys, what I, wrote, I wrote the most amazing comic in the world. You're just going to want to get it. No! For the love of God, please go buy the comic. I, I'm placed. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's how I would be if I had a book of any kind out there right now. <laughs> All please right, guys. buy it! Uh, we just filmed the normal episode, but we wanted to talk about WandaVision, and we felt that it would be a lot simpler to keep WandaVision as a separate episode. Uh, we, I, By we, I mean I decided that like the last five minutes of the previous episode. But Good the concept thinking. works, and I think we should be doing it on a weekly basis, Sal. That way people can watch that if they want to, and it's not lumped into the main episode. Uh, I dig it. Plus, we have multiple episodes to upload, which we both enjoy doing. Uh, okay, do. WandaVision. Let's talk about everything past three at this point. So four and five, because both those were the big reveals. Yes, yes. Uh, four, uh, just, just the only big thing I want to talk about with four real quick is the showing the world after the snap back. That was incredible. We've never yeah. seen that. And I never thought we would. How they we saw it. We saw it, not, we saw it in Far From Home. No, but not the same way. Like, not, like we saw the ramifications, but not the see, moment they were all returning in like a hospital and that kind of. No, event. we saw the, remember the band was like, brum, 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 you see, see Far From Home treat it like a freaking joke and this actually treated it like a real thing and i really like that yeah, <laughs> I think I it was like, like an apology because people you know from from calling it the blip to it being like an aunt may icebreaker joke people were not happy with the response to post snap yeah and now it's like look at this and yeah, from Monica being reconstituted to everybody being like, what did I miss? Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. Kind of love, the same the tone from Endgame. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so I thought that was great. And I love that this that really popped this into where it's kind of in the continuity. Because that's been the biggest question everyone's been having. Where does this fit into the timeline? But I think it came out. This is before uh, Far From Home, isn't it? It's I Well, here's the thing. Monica pops in. So, it's hap- so when she is looking for her mom, she... Unbeknownst to her, the Avengers are fighting Thanos right now. Yeah, right <laughs> like, at that moment. That's happening. At that moment. I think she says there's like two or three weeks between then and WandaVision when she's like an agent again, when she's like reinstated. Uh, Far From Home, I think has to be like a week later. So my guess is that Far From Home and this are like happening kind of around the same exact time. That makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. Or, or maybe Far From Home's taking place during the time when Monica's getting her sea legs and WandaVision's after that. So I think if you're looking for a ton, for way, the way to watch this, you watch Endgame, Far From Home, then WandaVision. <laughs> um, but that, of course, because I feel like episode four and five kind of go together as one episode. I do, do, I was thinking about this because I was saying that they should have put episodes one and two into 10 minute segments. I feel like they should have just done hour episodes. Because if you yeah. had done one and two together, that would have been a whole black and white episode. Three and four together would have basically built upon everything's falling apart, everything's going crazy. We would have moved into the cliffhanger on four, and then five and six could have been the, uh, their own thing. Although five is long enough to be its own kind of it. It was longer than a uh, normal. Yeah, it's like 40 minutes or something, right? Yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy the way it all lines up. So I like that it's quite obvious it's Wanda. Now, I saw a theory online that it's two Wandas. The Wanda wow. in the hex is the subconscious uh, that, that is just trying to enjoy this life. And right. the one with the accent is like, no, I'm the evil one who did this life. Oh, two Wanda's. Cause she does have an accent when she leaves the bubble in five. Yes. And she get, but she does get one when Monica reminds her of her brother and she sings the Simcarian love about, I think it's the same person, but like a split personality thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, okay. The one inside is her subconscious, not wanting to break into reality, fighting against vision. Because at the end of five, she and we're going to talk about the Quicksilver thing, guys. This whole thing is spoiler. We're just kind of <laughs> bouncing around. Did you did you know Quicksilver's in this episode? Yeah, I, man. You, we're going to talk about that, but that one's going to be that's opening up a whole can of worms. So we're going to get to that. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's that's a whole other episode. <laughs> because like, um, there's also the, just just the just the MCU stuff, which is just fun to talk about. Yeah, exactly. But the fact when we got right before he arrived, 
she was very much she did not look like she was trying to mess with the vision she i did not do these things i think that it's two sides of the same wanda Mm. there's the one who's irritated angry was an avenger but everyone's screwing him over and then there's the one who's just so grief stricken she hasn't dealt with it and you know what i mean like that's the problem yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i i have a different theory and okay. i think it's a i think it's a popular one i think people are pretty much on board for a lot of people like like that agnes is agatha harkness yeah that, that seems to be a popular one but she seems clueless as to the power of wanda See, I think I I think that she does. I think she thought she knew what she was getting into. I think she found, met, manipulated Wanda, and then said like, "I think you can create." Or the like that she's. I, I think that like the whole thing is a trick that Wanda doesn't know that the people within the bubble are real, or at the very least that they are effective within her own universe. I think that Agnes is like, you can you can leave and go into another dimension where you can have whatever you want you know and i'll like be there to help you like manipulate your powers like i'll teach you but then when she finds like when, when she's in there for long enough she's like oh she's more powerful than i thought and i tricked her i i can't take her to another dimensions like that's just that's just a lie because i'm like right. a crappy sorcerer and what we're really doing is just warping reality around this one particular area but if she which is why it's like subterfuge when visions uh co-worker was like she's in my head you're supposed to think it's wanda but maybe it's actually agnes and it's like Ooh, that when she yeah. finds out she's like oh like you're not you're not just some witch like you're not just some sorcerer you can like when she when she's met with the con the, the concept of being like can you bring back the dead like can you do that and it's like am i in over my head in this dealing with yeah. you because uh, she also has that moment where she's like, "Do you want me to cut? Like, do you want me to?" Because that 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 su to me suggests that she she's on the level. Like, she knows what's going on. She hasn't. She's not being changed against her will. She's like, "I'm helping you facilitate this reality that we're like to make you think to make Wanda think like, no, this is just a reality you've invented. That's in a, it's in the multiverse. And it's like, no, it's here. It's happening now. I'm just not that good a sorcerer." Yeah. Um, I know another theory is that Wanda is going to go full baddie, but it is all Wanda and full baddie, and she's the thing they're fighting in Doctor Strange. I've seen that theory floating around. That'd be cool. I hear that. I know that. I think that's pretty much common knowledge that she will be in Doctor Strange. Too. She's in, right? They didn't even hide that. Like she's a part. Yeah, of that. but I think they <laughs> they implied that Nightmare was going to be the villain, or at least one of the villains of Doctor Strange too, which I think is a great idea. Uh, but maybe in typical MCU fashion, it's like, whoo, I'm nightmare. And I'm in the new opening credits or the first five minutes. And then boom, wanted to unmakes him. And then it's like, <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy. It's house of M. Hurrah! Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's just interesting to see right now because I, the vision thing is interesting too, because he's quite, yes. he's, he's obviously not just reconstituted going with the flow vision. Mm -mm. Like she mm -hmm. made vision again. Like, <laughs> right. Right. She, yeah, she, and I think that like the fact that she stole his body and we got that that horror shot from I think the previous episode where he's still like a husk suggests that she didn't like make a new vision. Like she's reanimating vision. Yeah. So of course that brings us to the uh, well, okay, well, before we get to the other reanimated individual, um yeah. you said other MCU uh, uh Easter eggs. What other ones do you, do you want to mention on top of your head? Let's talk about her kids. Uh we got we got Wiccan and Speed in this show uh they ha they're not wicked in speed yet but like their their names are the same and they're uh they're twins and we've established at least for now they can age themselves up and conveniently enough we'll probably age them up to about mm, i'm thinking cassie lang's age you know <laughs> That's yeah, around young avengers the they're, age. Just, they're just gonna stop at 16 like all right well we're good yeah. to go yeah i think what they're gonna do is like when like in the next episode or two they're going to imprint on people they think are cool. Like one, like one is going to be really into uh, uncle Pietro and want to have speed powers. And then once he <laughs> establishes them, he will have hit the eight. He'll, he'll have kind of like Franklin Richards it up where it's like, he can right now. Uh, he's a blank slate. I can do anything. And it's like, once I declare I'm a speedster, all the energy that went into being able to like age yourself up and manipulate reality went into making your reality that you're a speedster. 
So he right. will be locked in at the age he is, and he'll be speed. And then Wiccan, same deal. I'm going to imprint after mom. Mom's a magic user, so I want magic powers. Locked in at that age, locked in with that power set. So we will get Wiccan and speed and have them integrated, of course, because like we're, we're literally going to have the young Avengers at some point. Yeah, they've said they're, we're leaning to that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they got to go in that. They got to go young Avengers. You can't just be like, and now we have the old Avengers. <laughs> well, it's going to be really weird. Like the Avengers is going to be a really weird place where you've got She-Hulk, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man, and also like Hawkeye, like, but not Clint. I'm talking about Kate, like Kate Hawkeye and Wiccan and Speed. Like they're not all, and Ms. Marvel, you know, like not everybody is going to be the same age. And I don't think they're going to want to have like a weird kind of like babysitter team where it's like, it's Spider-Man. He's 19 and we got, you know, Ms. Marvel and she's 15 and we got She-Hulk and she's 32. Like what? No, 32. Like, I like, no. I like that jump. <laughs> Cause it is. Cause she is. It's not like they're going to make She-Hulk, you know, Bruce's cousin who's 40 years her senior. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. What other, I don't know. What other? I mean, I knew about the. I knew them not well. I don't know their history as well as you do. But what other? I'm trying to think of other big ones. I mean, we mentioned Sokovia. All the commercials are starting to make more sense now. That's starting to lead yes. to things. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I liked the thing. I liked his little comment, like no silly little name. Like, oh yeah, she hasn't been called the Scarlet Witch. So no, I hope she gets it because like that'd be obnoxious for them to be like she shouldn't have a nickname because those are dumb. Like. <laughs> I'm watching Marvel movies. They better have friggin' superhero names. Um, um but yeah. what did you uh, so I think I think he's got more going on. I think that guy. The oh, commander yeah. guy. Oh, yeah. There's something he knows more than he's letting on. Also, I did see on Twitter that some guy tweeted out like I would love to pitch a Jimmy Woo X Files show. And then like a few days later the follow up tweet was so I'm getting to pitch the Jimmy Woo X Files show. I doubt <laughs> it's gonna get made, but holy crap, thank you for blowing up my tweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me tell you something. People are like, Man, I love this idea about like a fun, plucky agent in a in a Marvel universe, like with a with an organization. I'm like, Yeah, there's seven seasons of that. <laughs> it's called Shield. No, and it's for the called first two seasons, it's in the universe. It's called yeah, Inhuman I, Light. Ugh. Yeah, when they really leaned into the Inhumans, I'm like, oh, you're gonna do that, okay? Uh, but yeah, Sword doesn't stand for worlds; it stands for weapons, which uh, is too bad. I was like, maybe they'll change it. Maybe they'll be like, no, no, no. Now it's gonna be about space and stuff later. Uh, but yeah, Sword's different. Um, Monica Rambeau uh, will be Photon. Is she already? Her CAT scan suggests that, like, you know, there's something going on. I was surprised by that. I I was surprised that they were already leaning into this more than meets the eye with Monica Rambeau. I thought we were going to get to the end of this, and then maybe the cliffhanger would be like, if she comes back, we're implying. But she also name-dropped Captain Marvel. Do you think we'll see Brie Larson in this? I think I, I – here's the thing. If you had asked me before the show aired or even the first two episodes, I would have said, nah, nah, they're not going to do that. After the reveal of, of episode five, I think they can do anything. Like, I think that, like, I'm going to have a lot more expectations from Loki. <laughs> you oh, know what yeah, I mean? 100%. Like, like, but when oh. the Falcon and Winter Soldier, I've got expectations for now. Like, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, because like, we're, we're used to, like, oh, movie stars don't go into TV shows. So the fact that you got them in it, that's that's who we got. No cameos. Those are the movie stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's who we got. Not... So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the guy yes. risen from the dead that Dan thought was Magneto until he turned his head around. <laughs> no, Dan, come on, man. No. She wasn't thinking about Mag- Magneto. We all knew it was going to be Quicksilver. I just didn't expect it to be that Quicksilver. <laughs> I thought it was gray hair, not silver hair. It's an <laughs> honest mistake. <laughs> he, thought, he thought she was getting her dad. No, so... The, okay, because cool. I, I I remember early on, I the guy that used that played in the MCU tweeted out, "I am not in the show. I was not invited back. I, I, I they're not doing anything with Pietro." And I think at least for me, I was like, "Okay, no Pietro. They didn't want to bring the guy back. They're probably leaving that dead because of the MCU X Men crossover, and they're not going to touch on it." And then he, that that <laughs> Quicksilver showed up. Yeah, the way this, better one. 
And here's the thing, because like at first I saw that and I'm like, oh, it's just a fun cameo. It can't be. They are never going to make that a fun little cameo that's not going to make any no. sense. This is 100% how they're going to bring in all of the characters from the external, anybody that they want that they thought did a great job and wants to keep doing the role, this is how we're getting it. Now, and I'll tell you right yeah. now, Daredevil and Daredevil and Spider-Man, I believe it now. That's <laughs> happening. Charlie Cox is Daredevil and Spider-Man now. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> happening. Like, 100%. Okay, I believe that now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think... They're going to use this whole phase to wrap in things we don't know now. Now, here's what I'm confused. They said we weren't going to see the X-Men for 10 years, and that could have easily been them being like, yeah, we're not going to see him for 10 years. But I feel like we weren't. I right. feel like we weren't going to see anything involving the X-Men for 10 years, and then the COVID happened, and everything has lost steam, and they're like, F it. X-Men. <laughs> yeah. No one's excited for US for 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 uh US agent. Let's get X-Men in here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh I like yeah, I I and then I don't know if you saw this but like I I saw an interview with Patrick Stewart where he was like, "Yeah, Feige called. He said he wanted he asked if I wanted to reprise my role as uh, Professor X." And I said, "No, like I'm very happy with Logan, but if I didn't do Logan, I would have definitely come back." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> Like the fact that J.K. Simmons is a J. Jonah Jameson should have been the first clue. Like, oh, they don't care. <laughs> like, they'll just put anybody in, which means like, screw f trying to come up with a new Magneto. No, 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 Michael Fassbender, you're a big name and you're good. You're Dude. doing a good job. Listen, the last Magneto was 108, and he did three of those. So like <laughs> four actually, if you count the, the you know what, half of the other. What one. if they bring back McAvoy and Fassbender? We get those 100 okay two. with that. I love. I am too. I think they're both 100%. great, and I want to see them. Like I want to see them proper. I want to see Professor X actually be sympathetic. I want to see Magneto be awesome. <laughs> like, like I want to see. Imagine, that. imagine them showing up. I mean, this throws so many more possibilities of how they're going to bring the X Men into the universe because they're just yeah. going to do it. <laughs> they're gonna do, do. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't even worry about like oh like how are they going mm, or the X Men? Yeah, no, 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 they just are. <laughs> they're just gonna show up we're gonna yeah. the next avengers movie is gonna be like man if only we had another team to help us out and wolverine's gonna be like we're here bub we're all gonna yeah, be like what, do you what? Mean? <laughs> yeah hugh jackman's like i'm back bitch and it's like <laughs> what really you yeah they gave me too much money to ignore <laughs> you look old as shit yeah but wolverine yeah. doesn't age i'll become dead man yeah. Logan soon <laughs> dude i'm telling you like they could if they if they go full multiverse with this like there's an old man Logan movie there, or at least an old man Logan cameo. Hey, I'll help you for one last ride. I'm old and tired, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> See, I I actually thought this because so the MCU. I was having this argument with a crazy X Men fan that we hang out with, and he was like, "No, I don't want this because I want them to redo all the stories." And I don't. I don't <laughs> want. I don't want MCU Dark Phoenix. I don't want MCU Apocalypse or Days of Future Past. No, I, I don't want. Uh, no, no. But here's the thing. Think New about apocalypse. this for a moment. <laughs> No, but I want I want the characters. Yeah. I don't want their telling of the story because I was thinking about this. The MCU in like twelve years that we've been doing this has never yeah. just straight up retold any story. Nope. So if you're it's Kevin Feige, kind of, kind of, but not the same at all. You know, what I mean, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they'll take notes and they'll put it in there. So if you're Kevin Feige and you're sitting around and you're like, okay, so we could just start all the X Men stories over again, or right. we multiverse and mash them together. All the Fox stuff happened. And we can right. just do our own versions of it because we're in a different universe. Yeah. Yeah. I was excited for the idea of seeing the fledgling X-Men. I wanted to see like the X-Men teams like grow up in advance. I think we could still do that. Uh, I just feel like, yeah, they're going to, they're going to skip ahead. They're going to be like, look, you've seen the superhero registration act. You've, you've seen the superhuman registration. Act. Like you don't need that. Uh, you, you know, We've seen Apocalypse try to take over everything. Like we, we'll we'll just recast Apocalypse. We want to use him, but like we're probably not going to do that for a little while. Um, yeah. You know, but but yeah, like we'll just do other stuff. Like they could do God loves man kills, and it's just like instead of it being I hate mutants, it's like I hate extra dimensional beings that take up space in my yard. <laughs> And also, uh, chat's like, oh, we don't know what they're going to do with Quicksilver ultimately. And you're right. They might no. just wipe him out and, and we're just going to do start over. But I this is going to lead, do. But what, what they could do is simply put, this is how they're going to keep that cast around. And their memories are all going to be conveniently wiped. And here's the mm -hmm. recast X-Men going to school for the first time. But, oh, we've conveniently got a Quicksilver that's as old as our current Wanda. 
and we've got a bunch of 30 year old X-Men learn. You know what I mean? Like there's so many, I, I don't think we're going to get 30 year. I don't think we're going to like J like, uh, like, um, Famke Jansen and, uh, and the older folks. I think it's more like they're going to go. If there is a, this universe equivalent, like there were two Quicksilvers. So one of them's dead. I, I replaced that Quicksilver with this alive Quicksilver, right. but he's still Pietro Maximov. He's still a speedster. He's still my brother. He's, but our dad is Magneto now, you know, like that kind of thing. And so it's like, if there's a Hank McCoy in this universe, well, he's going to be superimposed with a mutant Hank McCoy and maybe he's blue or not. Who cares? Like, I, I don't think it's going to be just like, there's a portal and come on in folks. The water's fine. Like, I think it's going to be that like, there's <laughs> going to be some kind of explanation for like, there's, there was a very good reason why it was Quicksilver and not like Wolverine or like, you yeah. know, it, it, it's like there Quicksilver has to be. Works. Some... It, I mean, the chat says it and they're right. They said it in the show recasted. She recasted yeah. Quicksilver. So and, and we can easily I love recast Darcy everyone we want. Huh? Yeah. Darcy's saying, well, she rec she recast Pietro. Like, that's so funny because it was such a it's it's a great line. It's a great character moment for Darcy. But more importantly, the audience is like, I know what that means. And like whether you care or not is irrelevant. Like, in the context of what she's saying, like whether it's in the show or in reality, she recast Pietro and that's all you need to address it. After that, you're done. No, Pietro is recast. Like, yeah. he's, did he die in Sokovia? Sure. And then we recast him using reality altering <laughs> powers. Like that's it. I, mean, I don't the, know. The, I, the, I, the fact of the matter is even if this ends with Pietro being dead again, that guy oh leaving God. and we don't hear anything else about it. The, mm -hmm. the, regardless of how they handle this, because they could just do that. They yeah. could, he's in this show, and at the end, he's gone, and that's it. We don't we don't hear about the X Men. We don't hear about McAvoy. We don't hear about Fast, but none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This opens the doors to so many possibilities. Is what this actually does on a casting, on a, a development phase, all of this stuff. Yep. So many yep. possibilities. Because the big question was, how are they going to bring over the fan favorites and not just recast them? Well, we just assumed they weren't. They just, right. well, they're going to have to recast. Like they're, they're going to bring them over. And they could easily use reality warping powers as the excuse. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, and, and what's funny is they clearly don't care about, like, pissing people off, like Aaron Taylor Johnson or whatever his name is, where it's like, I'm not back. They didn't ask me back. No, they didn't. Like, moving on. You know, like, so... <laughs> If, if people didn't like Beast, you know, like I'm not, I, I like the actor who plays Hank McCoy in the first class generation, but I don't, I'm not like thrilled with his portrayal. I'm just kind of like, you're not really Hank. You're just kind of like this weird, like, you know, werewolf. Um, they're not beyond going like, yeah, we didn't like him either. So he's a different actor. <laughs> yeah. Multiverse. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like I, I don't know what's going to happen with this, but I'm excited. This has got me excited about WandaVision and what's going to happen with the MCU. I was excited yeah. about WandaVision, I would say, probably at the end of three. Three kind of got me st actually stoked about the show. Uh, four got me really into the show. Five got me really into the show. And now this just has me excited on an MCU greater scale idea. Yep. Um, can this we just is... talk two seconds before we close this out, yeah. though? Paul Bettany's yeah. acting in that episode was so incredible. Good. I, I If they kill Vision at the end as a cathartic, I need to let go and accept death, you're wasting, you're wasting an opportunity here. Because... You could ha you, instead, you could say she could be like, "No, lessons are stupid. Death is irrelevant. I'm Scarlet Witch out." And Vision's just here forever. This is a Vision who gets to emote and gets to explore the range of Paul Bettany, who is a who is an incredible actor. Yeah, use him. I didn't care about Vision ever, and no. I don't really like like Vision in the comics. I get it, and I appreciate him, and he's a he's a legacy. Blah 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 blah. But like, I don't want to read about a robot. I just don't care. Unless it's the visions, in which case it's amazing. But like in the movies, I'm like, oh, he's he, like Paul Bettany. I like him. I saw Priest <laughs> and Legion and, uh, you know, that other one. What am I thinking of? Not a Knight's Tale. Uh, but like, I got it. But this is a vision I can get behind. A vision who's more emotive, who's got motivation, who's like wronged and like has, you know, has, has, has room to explore. This vision could be sad Tony's dead. Like, I'm excited to see that. Don't just kill him at the end of the show. 
Yeah. Chad is saying that if this does to officially take place before Far From Home, like they're claiming, Vision's technically dead and Far From Home. But just just be like, maybe they don't want to reveal to the world that there's a reality or warping witch that can raise the dead. <laughs> right? Yeah, you might say. You'd have like pilgrimages of people who are just hounding her at the outside of New Jersey, just being like, Hey, bring back my dad. Like, yeah. Yeah. You Peter in front of line. I got an uncle. I don't know if you know this, but like, uh, <laughs> I got an uncle. Uh, I mean, in front of me now, we don't know how it's going to end. It could very easily be he's alive, but they're going to live forever in the hex. You know, like right. it could be anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And that's the best part. The best part of this is that like, we do, is that not, I like if, if they'd released Falcon and a soldier first, which they couldn't have because it just wasn't done. Um, even though I think that was the plan. That was uh, the plan. I, the, it, the way it was pitched was that that was coming out first. Right. And I think that's because it's like, that's the standard MCU Captain America sequel. Like, here's a couple of dudes kicking ass, taking names. Maybe it's epic. Maybe it's just kind of fun and cool, whatever. But like no real, no, no big stakes. Just like who's going to be Captain America? It's going to be Falcon moving on. But like, boy, was that a fun journey. And it, I think people would have been like, yeah, that's cool. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm not like necessarily excited about the future for the MCU, but I am like happy I got to revisit it. With this, it's like, this is the first time that I've been upseated. Like I've been like, I, I don't know what's going to happen next and I can't wait to find out. That kind yeah. of drop, that's the kind of like hype and enthusiasm you can't buy and you can't I anticipate. haven't been this excited about an MCU thing and reveal in years. Yeah. Because like right. everyone loved Infinity War, we all loved Endgame, but we all knew how that was going to end. There was right. a few things that can like, oh my god, Tony Stark, what? But like overall, yeah. you were all, we were all kind of like, mm, we know half right. the cast didn't sign on to continue. So, yeah. or <laughs> Captain Iron Man are probably not making it out of this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, gonna be surprised if Thor comes back. Oh, he resigned. Okay, he's oh, living. I mean, <laughs> well, and, but like, and that was literally you could tell. Like, it was just like you let me do whatever I wanted. You made me fat. Okay, I'll be your Thor again. I'll be Thor. I'll be Thor two or three more times. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's like I, like I mean, I have not been surprised by the MCU for quite. I say since Age of Ultron. Because I feel like at that mm. point it became cookie cutter. You knew what was coming. You knew what was happening. They really didn't surprise us that often. Sure, no, no, no. Civil War came after Ultron when Spider Man showed up. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, when Spider Man. I mean, it was leaked well in advance. But yeah, when we knew. First we knew. trailer, we were all like, yeah. "What? <laughs> oh boy!" Yeah, I'll give you that. I think that was the last time that I was like, oh my God, what is happening in the MCU kind of right. hype levels? You know what I mean? Infinity yeah. War, yeah. Endgame, I mean, I loved every movie. This isn't gonna, this isn't a question of like, man, no. I've been hating life since Civil War. No, <laughs> this is, I want to just this level of like, it ended when I finished watching it Friday and I was just like yeah. straight up like, uh, can I get six now? Like right yeah. now I want six. And I have been yeah. counting the days until Friday, Sal. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I have it. not I had that level of hype for anything in CU in a very long time. Yeah. I also yeah, I want to was... applaud them for not putting in an episode one. Right? You could yeah, well, have opened episode one with all the MCU stuff, and we've all would have been like, oh, yeah. sweet. And what's cool is like this is this could be the only mic drop of the series, as opposed to like, you know, a cathartic yet satisfying ending, which of course we're all hoping will will, will also be achieved. But like or this is what they were like leading with. Like there's three more episodes, six, seven, eight, nine. So four more episodes, I think. I don't remember how many episodes. I think it's nine. But I'm pretty uh, sure this ends and we go right into Falcon, Falcon Winter Soldier. No, no, I'm saying how many episodes are left of, of WandaVision. I think it's like four. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'm pretty sure this ends and we go right into Falcon. Oh, Winter yeah. Soldier. No, it's true. So it's like if that's the case, maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, like. Maybe Magneto will show up in another episode or two. Maybe like they'll have already cast Wolverine and he shows up. Like maybe, you know, and maybe anything. Like the now the uncertainty in a good way, the anticipation and the like the feeling of anything can happen is here. Because the other thing that we got, we didn't just get like a cool moment or a fun casting thing. Implications of the greater universe, the, the setups for movies are happening in these shows. Like these shows yeah. are actually setting up things that have stakes and will have impact. Like they said, and they did say that to be honest, but like we're, but, but they're, but we're seeing it. And I guess none of us really believe them. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, in all honesty, I can tell you all day long that these things truly matter, but until you see it, you don't think it does. You're like, yeah, everybody it, says it'll, it matters. It'll matter, but it's TV shows. The Netflix things didn't matter at all. Agents of the Shield was forgotten. Like you, oh, yeah. you've had 12 years of showing me that you can also do in humans. So I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know. But we're seeing it now and we're seeing like, yeah. you know, this wasn't a big tease for Eternals. This is like things we care about. Right. So, all right. Well, we're going to call it here uh, because I think we're running a little bit over time. We're definitely over time now, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, G Fuel. Use the code comics at checkout. Check back next week when we see our reactions to episode six. Six. <laughs> and please yeah. support us by subscribing here on the Twitch channel or going to our Patreon, patreon.com slash comic story and patreon.com slash comic pop. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time right here at Absolute Comics.